you're all well. Today is Saturday, the 22nd of October. Ooh, that means this time next week I'll be 47. <gasps> oh, I'll be old. And I won't be able to slag Jack for being old anymore. <laughs> I love it. There's exactly a month between us. So for that month, I can slag him for being old. But I'll be the same age as him by then. Hmm. Oh, but it does mean I'll be able to go to the range. Yay! I don't know if you remember, but when I was at the range looking at all their Christmas stuff, I said that there's a brand new The Range opening near us on my birthday on the 28th of October. And I did say we were going to go on the day that it opens because it's my birthday, but we've had a change of heart. We're going to wait and go on the following Monday, the Halloween because A, it will be quieter, it will probably be mobbed on the day that it opens and B, Jack will have been paid. <laughs> no point in going when he's not being paid, is there? So yeah, we're going to go on the Monday and it means that Granny Annie can come with us as well. So yay for that. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what we're here for. We're here for the vlog. Um, back to today, I've not got an awful lot planned apart from being chained to my craft room. That's what it feels like right now, but again, I'll talk about that later. I'm hoping that Brooke is going to make these little beauties, the Josh Roll Cinnamon Swirls. I saw Christine making them on her channel, my lovely friend Christine. Hi, Christine. Um, a few vlogs ago, and I was like, oh, they look easy, and Brooke loves baking. So I thought I'm going to get them to keep her amused during the October holidays. This is just coming to the end of her fortnight off. So I got them before the holidays started, but we've both been that busy that she's never actually had the chance to do them. I said to her yesterday, go and please make them tomorrow uh, so that I can have one. It looks dead easy. She'll manage them, no bother. But yeah, I'm so in the mood for one of them. So she will do that and then I'm hoping that she goes to town because I've still got my Home Bargains haul to film and I want to get it up tonight for you. But there's some Christmassy bits in it. So I can't film it while she's here because although she's in her room, she's got excellent hearing. She's got the hearing of a bat. She'll be lying listening to me right now talking about her. So yeah, I want to get that filmed today. And talking about her baking and things, her latest obsession is making chips and I'm talking making chips from scratch. This is a girl who always hated chips. The only chips we could get her to eat was McDonald's chips or fries to go and even then recently she's not been into them at all but I think it was when she was at cadet camp they were eating them and she got right into them again but she don't want no frozen chips, she wants chips from scratch. So I'm talking she peels the potatoes, she chops the potatoes, she parboils them, she puts them on the baking tray and she adds a trillion and one spices to them and puts them in the oven. Where did all that come from? <laughs> and that's about three times this week that she's made them. Her friend Mary was here last night and they made them together as well. And I'm like, oh, please don't, because you're going to ask me this and you're going to want me to do that. But no, they did it all themselves. I was like, wow, even cleaned up after themselves. Very impressed. Um, and ate them. Very impressed. Isn't it weird how they go through phases like that? Uh, probably this time next week she won't like chips again, but we're going with it. I would like her to be able to air fry them. It would be a lot easier for her. I don't know if I told you the air fryer story. I had an air fryer and never, ever, 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 ever used it. I didn't really know how to use it. I didn't know what to use it for and things. So I started using it for my crafts because there are some things that you can sublimate, like tumblers and mugs that you can sublimate in an air fryer. That's like a special kind of ink that goes into the mugs. So I started using it for that because I wasn't using it for cooking. And once you use it for sublimation, you can't use it for cooking anymore because the chemicals and things all stay in it. And then I've been watching people like Lelian and Christine and things who use the air fryer and I was like, oh, it looks amazing. So I had said to my mum, I want to get another air fryer. And she went, oh, I've got a spare one you can have. So she gave me the spare one. I was like, yay. So she gave me the spare one. But because it was my dad that always used it, he is so harsh bash. He doesn't care about things. All the nonstick had came off it. He's obviously used forks and knives and everything in it. So everything just sticks to it. So I just, I don't use it now. 
it's too much hassle. So I'm wanting the lovely Mr Santa Claus to listen to me and for my Christmas I would really like a new air fryer. Apparently there's a really good one in Argos that's like a double drawer one so you can fry two things at once. It's about £109 and it's a bit like a ninja one, it's like a ninja dupe but every time it comes into stock it goes straight out again because everybody wants one. Um, so I might keep an eye on that. Anyway, that's a completely different story. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? It's going to be one of those days that I keep going off on a tangent and then coming back to it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Brooke. She's been making chips and I want an air fryer. Anyway, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh yeah, when I saw the dog there. This morning I saw a site, I would not use it to say with no teeth, I saw a site I thought I would never see. I couldn't film it unfortunately because Jack was just out the shower and we've all seen enough of him recently. <laughs> if you uh, if you saw my last mull vlog, you'll know what I mean. And if not, I'll link it for you because uh, yes, my husband was running around a field naked. Um, so I thought you you can't handle that again. But um, Jack was in the shower. I was up getting my clothes organised before I went in the shower. And I turned round and there, lying on the bed together, was Clyde, our watcher who is lying there, and Lomond, the cat. Now, when we were wanting to get Lomond, the word... <coughs> Just at that, Clyde has to make himself heard. Clyde, enough! Anyway, Clyde and Lomond were lying on the bed together. And when we were wanting to get Lomond uh, from Tracy, my lovely lovely friend Tracy the Mad Scots lass um, the one thing that put us off was having a lurcher because being a sight hound his instincts are to chase small furry animals and we thought I don't know how he would get on with the cat he might instinctively want to chase it so we did worry a bit about that and Tracy even said to us look if he doesn't get on with the cat I'll take it back and uh, he's, at first he wasn't sure of him but he never ever chased him and there this morning he was lying on the bed beside him and we thought we would never see that moment and we did, it was so cute. I wish I could take, could have taken footage but as I say Jack was wandering about in the buff. Um, so yeah that was good. Now what else was I going to tell you? Granny Annie is here, um, her back is on the mend, it's not 100% but it's definitely on the mend. She managed to get home to her classes this week and she didn't actually dance but she managed to walk some of them through a little bit and she managed to shout from the sidelines and tell them what they were doing so that was good and she brought me back a present i have to show you look guess what they are gonks ah, these were from hobbycraft would you believe a three pack of gonks christmas decorations how gorgeous. I need to take them out. I've not looked at them properly. Look at him. I've got a funny colour. Oh, he's just lovely. And the cutie's got wee snowflakes on his hat. He'll definitely go on one of my shelves. Probably the one up there that I've got my other gonks on. Oh, oh! I just about played Skittles with them. And he's got little sequins on his hat. Aren't they so cute? You think everybody knows that I love gonks? I don't know how they know. Absolutely no idea how they know that I love gonks. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? I'm still making... Yeah, let's get back to why I'm completely and utterly changed to my craft room just now. I'm still trying to make the centrepieces for Granny Annie's pit lockery tables and that is two weeks time, I think. She's away to pit lockery, start of November. And um, it's not going well. Well, it is. It is. Let me show you just now where I'm at. As you can see, I've got a lot of the little um, decorations made. They start off plain wood like that and they end up little decorations like that. So that is good. Um, and I've got most of them cut out. I know it doesn't look like much like that. 
because I've cut out a lot of them in vinyl. I just need to read them and then put them on. So we're definitely getting there. And you might remember I said that I was running out of the, the silver thread that I was putting on and I needed to get more. So I went on to Amazon and I've ordered that. So they're silver and gold. I'm just hoping that it fits through the holes, but it looks like it will. Um, and I've got her little, um, the jars, <laughs> the, the tea lights fell off of that one. The jars for the centre of the wood there. So I've got another two empty jars to do. Um, but that's easy enough. It doesn't take an awful lot to do that. I just need to get my glue gun out to do that. Um, be honest, I'll be glad once they're all done because I've got so much other stuff that I need to do. But I can't do it until the pitlochery stuff's done because that's urgent. That that has to be done by um, the first weekend in November. Once that's done, I've got an order for 30 gift tags for my auntie. I've got an order for two more pet stockings. You know how I do the Christmas tree and the pet paws, the dog paws and personalise it with the name. I've got two of them to do. I've got a um, sparkly bobble to make for wee Isla for her first Christmas because I made one for Rory's first Christmas. That's her brother. So her mum wants me to do one for Isla so that they're the same. And I think that's all those orders that I've got to do. But I've also got the collaborations still to work on. So I've definitely bitten off more than I can chew. And I think I would have been able to handle it okay if I was feeling okay. You know, I hate moaning at you about my health, but I'm going to. <laughs> Only because that's what's holding me up. Um, I'm now on the, the full dose of the topiramate, you know, the anti-epileptic drug for, um, you know what? You know how they say that your phone listens to you? It does. Do you know, I've just had the notification up just now from Pinterest saying, look at these pins, air frying and more. I was just talking two minutes about an air fryer. Your phone listens to you, I'm telling you. Anyway, um, I'm on the full dose of the topiramate now, the anti-epileptic drug. And the side effects are just as bad as a headache. And sometimes I get the side effect and the headache at the same time. And it's just awful so because of that i'm basically getting about four hours a day if that to work in my craft room and the rest of the time i'm either having to lie down or i'm just feeling too sick to sit up here in my craft room and it's an absolute nightmare to be honest so that's what's really holding me back see if i felt okay i would be able to get all this done no bother um and my mum actually texted me the other day and asked if I could do another order and I was like no way I'm sorry but there is absolutely no way I can do I can fit another order in um, and there's no way I'm going to be able to get any craft fairs done either this year because I'm not going to have any stock I've got stuff that I made earlier in the year but it's not going to be enough and it's really annoying me because I'm, I'm being so motivated to get it all done and I still am but I just can't. What I ended up doing yesterday, um, when I was too not well to actually sit here over my desk doing all these things, I took one of the collaboration things. Oh, hello, Abby. Sorry about that. I, uh, Abby just got up. She's working. Poor thing. She's working from... Op she's opening the cafe and then closing it again. All day working. Um... She's not actually had a deal since we came back from Alton Towers, poor thing. Anyway, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, what I ended up doing yesterday was when I went through to watch telly with Jack, I took the Christmas bracelet, charm bracelet through with me on a tree and I sat trying to do some of that while I was watching the telly. And that at least felt like I was doing something. I didn't get a lot of it done, but it felt like I was still doing something when I was sitting through there um, so that wasn't too bad but I just feel it's weird it feels like last week it was too early to talk about Christmas and this week it's just upon us already <laughs> because it's going to be Halloween next week 
it's like, whoa, Christmas now, and I, I bought like one thing, um, and I'm trying to think about ideas for Vlogmas as well, um, I'm hoping Brooke's going into town today, because there's a lot of things that I want to talk to you about, but again, so once she's made the, where did I put that? Oh, they're there. <laughs> I thought, well, I had went away with the cinnamon swirl thing. I'm hoping once she's made the cinnamon swirl thing, she'll go into town so I can get that hold done and so I can chat to you about a couple of things. Um, wait, I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. Yeah, so I'm trying to think of ideas for Vlogmas. If you've got any ideas, please let me know. I'm thinking, I know you all love the... Um, guess a song from random lyrics, fa -la 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 -la. but I think I've done that to death now, but because you all enjoy it, I'm trying to think of something similar, so if there's anything like that that you can think of that you would like me to do, let me know. Um, I'm going to do the reading a bit of that, A Laddie Called Christmas, the A Boy Called Christmas Scottish version, I'm going to do a bit of that every every day. But I don't know what else. Anyway, I'm going to head off just now because I've been wittering on for 18 minutes and um, I can't talk to you about anything else until people are out the door. So I'm hoping that Brooke will get up shortly. Well, she'll not get up shortly because it's only like 8 o'clock. But I'm hoping that when she does get up, she'll make them and I can show you what they're like. Oh, can you wait to try them? Oh, that was the other thing. What am I like? My mum came back yesterday with a big tray full of homemade white caramel shortcake from Liz and I'm talking homemade, every bit of it, the caramel is even homemade. Oh, it's so nice, it's so nice, I might show you that later on. Anyway, I'm going to head off just now, I'm going to get started in this room. Oh, oh and the other thing, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so behind in watching vlogs, I do apologise. I've still, I think I'm still in September watching the Stevenson Gresh vlogs, so I'm so sorry, that's how behind I am. But I will catch up with you all, and if I'm not leaving comments, that's why. It's not that I'm not watching, it's because I'm trying to get through them all, and because I'm really busy doing this, that if it comes to time to leave a comment, and I'm in the middle of a fiddly bit, that's why. Anyway, I'm going to head off this time, I promise. Oh, kidding. <laughs> so she's finally up out of bed. Going to be making the it's cinnamon like swirl. Past 10. That's a record. It's only 20 past 10. Only? I've only been up three hours. Oh, it looks weird. So do you need to preheat the oven and stuff? They're yeah, my favourite. Well, the cinnamon it's the cinnamon swirls, oh. yeah, it's the make, make your own at home. There's oh. Granny Annie, say hi Granny Annie. Hi Granny Annie. <laughs> We've had a bit of an issue opening the can. We've got Adam <coughs> to the rescue. Well, you've definitely opened it, son. Uh, it's open-ish. Because if you start, if you keep doing that, that's surely that's just going to rip the door. Going to rip the door, yeah. Mmm. So what if it rips the door? It'll You're still so taste the same. Ah. Oh, oh, here we go, ah, here we go. Yeah. So it was brute strength. Yeah, well done Adam. Let me guess, you're going to lie in your new bed all day watching your new, new telly. telly that's in your new bed. Well, so I don't get shouted at, yes. <laughs> Why? What, when so I, I don't get shouted at, because when Abby's here, she gets all the controls, she gets to put what's on, uh, and I just need to sit there and agree with that. When they showed me the new bed the other day, Adam, eh, Abby went, there, you can have the control just now, Adam, but when we're in the bed, I get it. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> like, when uh, me and Jack were building it, I put, like, the wee um, controller pocket on my side. It's like, put that on your side. <laughs> 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 As soon as Abby realised that it was on my side, she was like, lift that bed up, take that off, put it on my side. I was like, I didn't even get two minutes with it. What is she like? Because that's what she's she like her mother. She was saying that to me this morning. She's like, I get the whole day in this bed tomorrow. And I was like... <laughs> well, you get it today. Exactly. Oh, wow. I have to do like that instead of just cutting, because otherwise it would squish the door. Is it? Well, go for it. There's Should a bigger knife, but... Just go for it. Yeah. Yum yum. 
You better love get mine with the mm. um, yum yum. How long does it take? Don't know yet. <laughs> 10 to 14 minutes. 10 to 14 minutes, set a timer. Set a timer. <laughs> Never mind looking at the Here's time. Phone, You'll get distracted. I've got my phone with me though. Well, go get it. Just... No, because it's on charge. Okay, so are we going to be trusting your judgement? Well, you should, because all my food comes out fine. Okay. That's true. <laughs> Makes me look weird. Nice. It looks a bit weird. Mm. No, it doesn't. A wee bit yeah. How did you manage that? What? Just burnt herself. Oh, yeah, look. Okay. It's a wee bit early, but they look cool. Right, so once I get in, someone has a big okay. burn now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Put your hands wider apart. I mean, they look more than cooked. It's definitely a bit soon, but. If they're cooked, they're cooked. No, I don't think they are quite. I think the wee one is. I think it's just the cinnamon stuff that looks cooked. They're still too soft. You can take the wee one off. Ooh, she's doing a swirl. Let's see the swirl. Ooh, very posh. Hey, I think you're meant to let them cool before you swirl. Oh, yeah, you are. I put those ones back in. Put them back in. I'll see that. There they are, Granny Annie's away with one of them. And right. I'm sharing it with Granddad. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, Rick's just going to put them on a plate, let them cool, and then she's going to swirl the icing you want on. The yum, yum. Yeah, I Yum, yum. My icing on. I'll have the one with too much icing. Of course you will. Of course I will. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yum. can never have too much icing. Well, you can when you have diabetes. <laughs> That's true. Look at the dogs. They're like, ooh, what's that, Brooke? Nothing for the puppies. <gasps> ooh, I want that one now. <laughs> it's quarter past 11 and you're still not dressed. My defence, I got up at 10 o'clock. That isn't a good defence. Getting up at 10 o'clock is not a good defence. <laughs> well, one of my friends home would just text me for the morning. <laughs> there. You're all as bad as each other. Is there any icing left? <gasps> Are you having one? You're going to ask Adam if he wants one. <laughs> You're not getting one. You're still waiting for my coffee, aren't you? This will go perfect with my gingerbread coffee. Ooh, let's try. <laughs> I just went to put them back up on the microwave so that the dogs couldn't get it. And just, don't be too fast. In other words, I'm finishing the ice and then I'm having one. Right, I'm going to take this through to my room and we shall see what it's like. Oh, looks delicious. Oh, you go, it's not for doggies. Let's find a spot on my desk to put it. Granny Annie said it was delicious, so I'm looking forward to trying it. And Brooke did go and say to Adam, you can have one if you want one, so he probably will. Um, yes, Adam's our new lodger. <laughs> we don't mind having him here, he's brilliant. He's just part of the family now. And uh, yes, he's still a bit scared of Jack, but he gets on better with him since they, they built the bed together. A bit of lad bonding time. But they're starting to look at flats and things, which is... A good sign. Right, Clyde, you're not getting one. I've just phoned the horse riding there because um I was going every second Saturday to the horse riding and she was meant to be there the weekend that she had the cadet camp and I forgot to phone and she forgot to phone to cancel it. So we don't know whether she's actually got a lesson booked tonight today or not. And she's decided and it does make more sense to try and get a lesson for after school one day um, through the week rather than a Saturday because she's always busy and we're always busy and it's just it's too much hassle at the weekend so I phoned them and left a message we're just waiting for them to get back to us so I'm going to try Clyde is down here wait till I see if I can show you look he's patiently waiting for my coffee he's still a major coffee addict this dog Unbelievable. Excuse the glasses on my head. It's the only way I can find them. <laughs> if I put them down somewhere, I'll lose them. Right, I'm going to try 
this delicious looking cinnamon swirl. I like that Brooke does bacon because Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. To be fair, that was too easy a task for her. So I think she's getting dressed and then heading into town. I really want to get that haul filmed so that I can get it up tonight. But there's things in it I don't want her to hear about or see. Anyway, I'm going to go finish my cinnamon swirl and my gingerbread coffee and I will come back to you later on. So that was a horse riding just flown so she is booked in for today which is good. So she's going to get the two o'clock bus and um, when she's there she can chat to them about trying to get her in through the week after school rather than the weekend which makes a lot more sense. So she's getting the two o'clock bus which means I might be able to film the haul, edit it and get it up for four. Here's hoping. Because <laughs> I don't want to not put a video up today and I like to do like a haul or a collaboration or something on a Saturday and then this one can go up on Monday. So hopefully I'll have time to do all that once she's away. It'll be a case of, right, let's do it, quick. <laughs> Maybe the editing won't be up to much but we'll give it a go. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm just carrying on with these little wood decorations um, and I've had an idea for a Rudolph one that if I get a chance to do it in this vlog I'll show you that means getting the glue gun out so if not uh, I'll show you in a different one but it's really cute if it works out. <laughs> oh, right it is ten past two I've had my granny nap and taken my painkillers and I think I've got a second wind. Brooke is away to her horse riding. I have just finished my Home bargains haul. Wait, I'll turn you around and show you the mess now. Look at all this. <laughs> Look at the state. So, yes, this is what my room looks like after a haul. Oh! I've just realised I didn't use my bag. I didn't use my... The bed, the bed, the bed. That's haul, folks. I need to do another haul soon. <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to get all this stuff put away and then get back to it again. Um... I'll need to see what the football score is. Last I saw we were losing 2-1, which isn't good. We're away to hearts. Um, so yeah, I'll need to check that score as well. But at least that's done. So now I need to get this tidied up, get the, the video edited and uploaded so that hopefully it will be up, ready for 4 o'clock. And then I need to get back to crafting away and getting all that stuff done. So that's where we're at just wanted to update you and uh, I'll get on with it. See you soon. Right, it's 25 past three. That is my haul finally edited and uploading. So hopefully I'll get it on for four o'clock. The dogs are going absolutely nuts. I don't know what's wrong with them. Clyde is zooming in all over the living room. I'm finally getting my breakfast, proper breakfast, because it was just a cinnamon swirl that I had earlier. Right, will you behave? Um, and I'm so enjoying having my porridge again and my pomegranate seeds in it. Can you see them? Can you? Can you see them? So I'm on to end the vlog, but I remembered that I hadn't told you what I was going to about Vlogmas earlier. I'm looking for ideas about Vlogmas or for Vlogmas. Anything that you want to see, let me know. For this next bit that I'm about to talk about, please make sure there's no ears around, no little ears. I don't want it to spoil anything for anyone. So if there's ears, please pause this and either listen later or get rid of the ears and then start it up again. So I am looking for unusual ideas for the elves. Um, I've done all the run of the mill ones and I've done some really funny ones. So I don't want this year just to be run of the mill that is a real letdown compared to previous years. I want to keep it funny. And because Brooke is more than aware that it's me doing it, um, I need to make it funny for her as well. Things that she's not going to expect. I've got a couple of good things in mind, but obviously I need 24 ide ideas. A couple isn't going to cut it. So I'm needing some sort of, I, I don't mean adult ideas. I don't want anything X-rated here, folk. But... What I do want is some like older teen ideas, 
We've done the watching the movies. We've done the popcorn everywhere. We've done the kissing book. We've done all that. I really need some adult-ish ideas, some really funny things that you would not expect elves to be doing. So if you've got any ideas, maybe don't leave them in the comments of the video because anybody can read them and I don't want any kid reading. I know that if they're old enough to read, they're probably old enough to understand. But if you want, please feel free to email me um, or send me a direct message on Instagram. The details are always in the description of all my videos. And just give me some ideas if you can think of anything. I would really appreciate it. And I can give you credit for it in the, the video that the elves do it or not. It's entirely up to you. I can either give you the credit or not if you would rather not. Um, but I'm just, I'm worried that I'm going to let people down, if you know what I mean, because I've had some really good ideas in the past. I don't want them just to be me this year. I want them to really, because I, I honestly, I know I say it every year, but I really do think this is going to be the last year. So I want to go out with a bang. <laughs> I don't want to go out with a meh. So if you've got any ideas, please let me know. Right, so anyway, I've got a feeling this is going to be a really long video and at this time, I'm really done in. So I've got a feeling I'm going to get this video up, the whole video up, and then that's going to be me for the day. It's half past three. My head is thumping and I think I'm going to be going and just lying down for the rest of the day. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, yeah, you know what to do. If you've enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to talk to me in the comments below or by email or by message on Instagram. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in our next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you.